Hey there, boys and girls. We are doing Bible stories, and this is a video about the story of Jacob's Ladder. This is from the book of Genesis in the Old Testament of the Holy Bible, Genesis chapter 28. Uh, and the wonderful pictures here of Jacob, Jacob's Ladder. Uh, these are from a book of lots of lovely pictures. This book is called 100 Bible Stories, 100 Bible Songs. Uh, and it's being shown here today with what's called fair use, which means that it's okay to show these pictures for review and for educational discussion about the content. So what is the story of Jacob's Ladder? Uh, well, the story is about a man in the Bible. His name, of course, was Jacob. Uh, and Jacob had been making a long journey, and he stopped to rest, and he lay down to sleep at night and he was using a large stone for a pillow you can see that here he's using a large stone for a pillow and while he was sleeping this is really the most important part of the story boys and girls while he was sleeping he had a dream now do you know what a dream is you probably do a dream is when you're sleeping and all kinds of crazy wacky things go through your brain. It's not real, right? It's just a dream. It says it right here. He was sleeping and he had a dream. He saw a stairway going up to heaven. I guess he was like a Led Zeppelin fan or something with the whole stairway to heaven. And at the bottom of the stairs was on the, was on the ground. And then there were all these angels coming up and down the stairs. Look at them going this way and that way. And, um, and heaven, they, always, they used to think heaven was up in the sky and we're down here on the earth. Uh, so, so that was a story about Jacob's ladder. And, um, and then, you know, after he, you know, he wakes up, he thinks that this was really true. I don't know, maybe when he lay down and, and hit his head on the rock, maybe he, um, he kind of knocked some common sense out of his skull and he forgot that dreams happen all the time. So, boys and girls, when you have a dream and you wake up, don't believe that it's true. It's just a dream. That's why they call it, uh, you know, a dream. And, um, and the same if you have a bad dream. That's not true either, okay? It's just, you know, ideas that run through our heads while we are sleeping. Uh, so, you know, but in the Bible they kind of like the idea of people believing things that aren't really true or that have no you know, evidence to, in reality to back them up. Um, you know, so that's what you call a myth. And the Bible is full of myths, as all religions are. They're things that are not necessarily true or you can't prove them. They're like fairy tales, make-believe. They're fantasies or superstitions. Uh, and you know, that's what religions are mostly... Uh, made up of. Uh, and our Bible's lesson for the day would be think. <laughs> use your mind. If there is a God, he gave you a brain, you should use it. If there's no God, you've got a brain anyway, you should use it. Uh, use your logic and reason and figure stuff out. Figure out what makes sense. Ask lots of questions. And um, be skeptical of the answers. Think about whether they're really true. Do they make sense? Does it make sense that if a God was going to come to somebody like our friend Jacob here, that he would only come in the dreaming time, that he would just come during dreams when everybody knows that dreams are not reliable? If there was any God who knew anything, he would say, well, boy... Let me wait till Jacob wakes up and um, maybe he hasn't hit his, on, a, on a day when he hasn't hit his head on that rock. And maybe let me wait till that day before I'm going to come to him with, uh, you know, with my whole, uh, you know, stairway to heaven type of, uh, type of imagery. All right. So you want to question, does this make, any, you know, do these stories make any sense? Does the world really work that way? You know, that, um, you know, the thing that happens in a dream. Now, sometimes you may see something in a dream that maybe it does happen or it does, or it's related to something that is going on in your life. That's fine. 
Um, but you know, don't rely on it. Rely on the things that you can see and feel and understand while you're wide awake. Uh, and my take-home Bible messages for this series right now is love your real life. Right now, you can appreciate your dream life. You can, um, you know, laugh about the, the the crazy dreams you had last night if you remember them, or tell a story about them, or write a journal, or tell them to your friends or parents. Like, hey, I had this crazy dream last night. Um, but don't go around thinking like that they're totally true. Like, oh, wow, really, a space alien you know, did come and eat my house last night and burp it up, and it's right back in place this morning. If that's what you're thinking happened last night, listen, it was just a dream. It's okay. Laugh about it. Um, really, what you want to do is love and enjoy your real life. Do fantastic, great things with your life. Love your family, your friends, your neighbors, others. Learn as much as you can. Study and think, right? Use your mind, right? Um, because the more you learn, the more you'll be able to understand the world, the more you'll be able to help other people and do things that are better for society and for yourself and your family and for others. Enjoy the life that you have. Make it fantastic. Make it fun. Make it awesome. And that is our Bible story for the day.